Well, she's the former pro surfer many thought was crazy to leave their ranks and chase the thrill of big wave surfing. But Laura Enever has crashed in by landing herself a world record. It came on the famed north shore of Oahu, Hawaii, the 31-year-old catching a monster wave on the outer reach, reef, I should say, which has now been officially measured at 43.6 feet or 13.3 metres, the biggest ever paddle into by a female. I felt it pick me up and I looked down the face and I knew I, I knew it was big when I was paddling into it, but then it wasn't until I looked down the face and was like, it's a long way down. <laughs> Uh, this is the biggest wave you've ever, ever caught. So I think at that moment, I knew it was the biggest wave I'd ever been on. I got to the bottom and then the wave just absolutely exploded me. But I was just, I was so stoked. Like, there's just no feeling like it. The magic moment came back in January, but required months of ratification as the WSL analysed, measured and now verifies her achievement in conjunction with the Guinness World Records. Innova gave up the Pro Tour back in 2017 after seven years on the circuit. Joining me live now is Laura. Good to see you. Back in January. Um, it still feels good, right? Oh, yeah, I mean, it's been a long wait since then. I mean, uh, yeah, that wave, it's, it's kind of unforgettable. And I, I would look, open my phone the last few months and I had to forget about this world record. I knew that they were going to announce it in November. So I was like, you know what? Like, it's been such a long way and wait that I've just had so much time to, you know, just work towards mm. this next coming season. The the open, the open season's just opened again for the big waves in Hawaii and uh, the Northern Hemisphere. So just sort of been getting ready for that. But uh, getting the news the other day with my family and friends was just unbelievable. I, I couldn't believe it. Um, yeah, I've had those Guinness World Record books. Uh, I've opened them up for Christmas many, many times <laughs> for my mum and uh, well, Santa. And, yeah, me and my brother love flicking through them so yeah it's good. Just, well, now it's you're a in pinch it. me moment yeah so quite a flex on your brother I would say Laura how <laughs> do you go from you know surfing what I would call a big wave anyway of six foot on the tour and then going actually no I want to surf like 30 40 foot waves yeah I mean my 12 year old self is just going what the hell happened along the way but um I, I always loved big waves uh, since I was young and uh, me and my brother, we would be so competitive and he loved big waves too, so we'd always push each other to go out when when we were young. And then as, you know, my career evolved, uh, I kind of just always did better when the, the waves were big. I'd just come alive. I'd My head noise would shut off on tour. And, um, you know, after seven years on the tour, I kind of left with that that feeling, you know, my mindset on tour was a bit of a weakness. And then mm. when I got in big waves, my mindset became a strength and it's just just the way it worked. I just, I felt the most me out there, the most confident and uh, I just feel, I guess I felt like I was doing what I was meant to be doing. And uh, this wave, I, I didn't even expect <laughs> this to happen. This wasn't even in a part of the plan. It was just go out this day and survive really. And uh, yeah. I just got in position for that wave after, you know, two hours of, doing cat and mouse around the lineup, trying not to get like just dumped by one of those or have have it just break on top of my head and blow my board to pieces. So to catch that, I went in and was just but I was just so so excited I caught it. And yeah. I didn't know that it was photographed for, you know, days until I opened <laughs> up Instagram and had a photographer send it to me and he was like, this could be a world record and Oof. Yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't believe it. I I told my friends. I was like, I got like the biggest wave of my life. And then a few days later, they're like, What the hell? Like, you didn't say it was uh, that that's big. The, the beauty of social media. You know, a couple of decades ago, you could have you know talked this up, says it twice as big that it is, and no one be able to prove it. But now yeah. you can prove it, which is great for you, Laura. Um, when you're surfing these kinds of waves and they're that big, how how long is the the hold down? So as you you duck dive or if you wipe out on a wave, what are you prepared for? Yeah, you basically just feel like you're in the most intense washing machine. Maybe like an yeah, it's just it's really brutal and intense. And I've had a few injuries. The first time I um you know went surfing out at Piahi at Jaws, I got my knee blown apart just from you know the sheer force of the wave hitting me. And uh, you know since then I've just done a lot of training. And you know I think at that moment people thought I was just going to give it up. I got a I got a pretty much 
injury that kept me off tour for six months and then when I went back to comps, I was like, nah, this isn't it. I want to go back to the big wave <laughs> stuff. And my mum was like, are you sure? Like, um, we always had this joke mm. I'd have to tape up my knees when I went out because I've got, like, little chicken legs. But um, <laughs> oh, I, I think, think that serves you pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> I've just been doing training and I, I've got to do my breath hold training and that's the most important for big wave surfing, being able to hold, being able to hold, hold your breath. So um, yeah. I can get my breath hold up to three and a half minutes. And, um, wow. Yeah, so that's that's where you kind of have that confidence when you're out there. I just quickly want to give a, a really quick shout out to uh, the Chumpy Pullen Foundation, yes. the In Pieces campaign as well, because I know you've got a yeah. tattoo uh, that connects you to 250 other people around the world. Uh, that is all about connecting people, um, supporting each other through mental health. And actually, they have their gala tomorrow night, which I might see yeah, you at. <laughs> I know, yeah, I'll be going along and um, I, I know that, like I have Chumpy's axe. Uh, we got these these stickers made up of the axe that he had on his um, tattooed on the side of his body, and mm. uh, yeah, that was what I was looking at when I was out there. I was I was speaking to Chumpy, and I know that he sent me that wave out there and and helped me just commit and back myself. So um, yeah, love you, Chumpy. <laughs> Thanks, Laura. I'll see you soon.